everybody welcome back to our channel today's video is actually going to be a little different I've had a lot of requests to know what makeup I use how I do my makeup and to me it's nothing special it's just my everyday look it's quick it's easy but a lot of people have asked also what products I use and this and that so today's video is going to be a get ready with me so I hope you enjoy this everyday makeup look so without further ado let's get on with the video Scary sight, me without makeup. Oh my gosh, look away. I look so different without makeup. I don't know if you women feel the same way. I'm sitting down to do my makeup because I don't have a tall tripod. I really need to invest in one. And we keep saying we're going to, but we never do. But I'm fresh out of the shower, just brushed through my hair, and my face is like super dry. Oh, so I'm gonna put on some of this Dove, and this is a dry skin relief because I have like mega dry skin. I think it's due to my thyroid condition. This is an overnight cream, and I use it during the daytime, and I use it at night. They actually had this on clearance. You can see where I peeled the sticker off. They had it on clearance, but I don't know if they're gonna keep it or if they're gonna get rid of it. I hope they keep it because in my opinion, it's really good but I'm not sure what they're gonna do. And I'm no beauty guru. I know you're supposed to rub up. I've never rubbed my skin up. I just put the lotion on, so there you go. I'm mainly doing this because I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, what do you use on your eyes? Or what do you use for this or that? Or what's the foundation? So I was like, well, if I do one of these videos, it'll kind of explain everything and we just go step by step. So I have very fair skin and I normally have to mix at least two different shades of my Urban Decay, but I'm not doing that right now because the Urban seems to dry my skin out worse in the winter and we're starting to get to that colder weather, so I'm having to switch the routine up. And for the longest time, I could never find anything that went with it until I tried Briley's. This is the L'Oreal True Match. Briley swears by this. She says it's like the only thing that doesn't dry her skin out, she has very dry skin as well. And I put this on first. And this is in the shade C3. And I just take my super dirty beauty blender and start applying. And like I said, I normally don't sit down for this, so it feels really weird. I do my ears and I do all down my neck because you want it to blend. And I put it everywhere. I know a lot of people don't put the foundation on their eyes. I have my whole life. your hairline ladies this is still a technique I'm trying to teach Briley because she always stops like right here so from here to her ear is like a totally different color and I'm like I know it feels weird putting it on your ears but it works and you gotta love the faces you make while you put on your makeup right I get under my eyes really good. I don't use concealer. I've yet to find a concealer that actually doesn't crease and make you look older than I feel like it's supposed to be doing. I mean, it's supposed to help you with your under eyes and all that, but it just does not work for me. Okay, so now that I have that done, I actually go in because this is not thick enough for me because it's thicker. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter. It looks like this. You can get this at Ulta, Sephora any place like that. You can also order it online. This is in the shade 5.0, and yes, we know that's way too dark for my skin, but I like it because I don't look good pale. If I could afford to go to the tanning bed, I probably would go to the tanning bed just because I'm so pale. But I don't use much of this. Just kind of dead that like that. And I kind of put it in the T-zone areas, and then we go to work. Little pat, little rub, like I said. And I don't go really far up on my eyes. I just kind of go to that bone. And my husband's calling. Be right back. 
All right, he was letting me know that he was on the way home. So done with that step, put that up. I always leave the beauty blender out because I'm gonna always keep going back and touching up certain areas, so we just leave that there. Next step is going to be powder. I know a lot of women do not use a setting powder. I say a lot. I feel like every time I watch a beauty video, nobody uses setting powder, and I'm like, or any kind of powder, and I'm thinking, why don't you do that? Like, my, I would touch my face and get makeup on everything. I have to have something to kind of set it. So anyway, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter, and don't you love it? You can see you guys in there. See the camera? Hello. And it's a waterproof setting powder. Looks like this, which you can tell it's very used because I use it every day. But I just take a big old brush and put that on. I don't do a ton. Okay, that's it. Next step, eyebrows. Now, I don't do a lot to my eyebrows. I really don't, I hardly pluck them. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at that. I'm always so busy, I just don't think about plucking my eyebrows. I have two things I've been using. This one I used for the longest time. I quit using it, and I don't know why, just because I guess I went to the pencil and liked it better. Um, Cargo Cosmetics. I actually picked this up at TJ Maxx on clearance for like a dollar, okay? And this is what it looks like. Like that, it comes with a gel and then a powder. And on the underside is your brush, okay? It's a good product, um, I will not say it's not, it is. I don't know, it's just a little dark. This one is a little lighter. This is the Elf brow pencil. What color is it? Oh, do we need to go get our glasses? Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Let me get my glasses. Wow, isn't that amazing? And it just says natural brows. <laughs> uh, 21722. Is that the color? Maybe. I don't know. The brush on one end and then the color on the other end. And I start by just brushing. I'm not a brow expert. I see some women, they have like the most gorgeous brows. I'm like, how do y'all do that? Please tell me your secret because I just pencil this on like a clown and just pray it looks okay. So let's see if I can get up here. I'm not used to sitting down doing my makeup. To be honest, I feel really weird sitting down. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. Oh gosh, I'm such a bad YouTuber. But yeah, this is not gonna work with me sitting down. I can already tell. Alright, we're going to change the angle of the camera and hopefully don't give me a double chin. Okay, it's <laughs> a bad angle, holy cow. Alright, we're going to see. If you can't see, I totally apologize, but I have to get it right because we have places to go today. <laughs> like I want. Oh my gosh, look how funny that looks. Oh, oh my gosh, on oh, like real life it doesn't look that different, but look at that. It looks like I don't have an eyebrow over here. Do you see how much higher the eyebrow is? This is why I draw my eyebrow a little higher. Now whether people can tell or not, I really don't care because I like the way it looks. And like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. And then you brush through lightly. And pretty much that's your eyebrow. Let me do the other one. I'll be right back. Okay, brows are done. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is my eyeshadow. I've had a lot of people ask, What's, what eyeshadow do you use? What brand is it? What color? Guys, it is legit. My bronzer, my blush, and my highlighter palette. Okay, it's nothing. It's nothing special. I wish I had this like mega nice palette like the girls do, but I don't. I just use this. And this is by Tarte. I know that reflection is really bad. This is what it looks like. It has the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. And this is what I use. It's a contouring palette. I got this really cheap. I don't remember exactly. I want to say like 12 bucks. And then that's cheap compared to like the $40 big eyeshadow kits you can get. But this is what I do. This goes on the rest of my face, this is it. So it's nothing special, but let me show you what I do. So I take this brush, I start off with a highlighter, and I highlight under my eyebrow. My makeup routine is so basic, I swear. I just do this, highlight underneath, and this helps me clean up my eyebrows too if I've messed them up. I do that. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'll go out in the light 
where it's better when we're done. Anyway, then I do right here in the crease, or not the crease, the corner of my eye. I put a little here, grab some more, put it here. My eyes are naturally dark anyway. I don't know what that's from, just years of wearing makeup. I don't know. But I do that, if you can see what I've done. Okay, I know this light's horrible, I keep saying that. Then I just take this crease brush, and I go in with whichever color I feel like wearing for the day. Now, the pink definitely shows up more. The brown is more subtle. Honestly, with the outfit I want to wear today, I think I'm just gonna do the brown. And that's my more natural. That's if I'm not trying to look like I've got a lot of eyeshadow on. And I just take and I put it up here. And I go down and do like a C. I'm drawing a C on my eye, if that makes any sense. I go down to the corner and I just blend it in and there it is that's it it's nothing special <laughs> I put this video off for so long I've had a lot of people like I said asking and I keep putting it off I think for the fact it's so basic I'm like they're not even gonna be watching me do anything really anyway but I love you guys and I want to to do it because I promised I'd show you guys. All right, that's it. Eyes are done. I will go back and hit one more time to sharpen that up and my corners. And then just make sure I didn't leave a line. Like that, that's it. Eyes are done. Then, next step is gonna be liner. I used to use this like all the time as Alme, okay? And Kayla's like, Mama, that is too thick. She says that the brush on this is like too fat. It is kind of a fat brush. How big that is? It's a, it's a big brush. I hope it's focusing because my camera has a hard time sometimes. But she let me borrow her NYX. Or is it NYX? Or is it NYX? I don't know. If you know, comment down below. And it's matte liquid liner. And it looks like this. And the brush is much smaller. Oh, I need to get my nails done. See, much smaller. So this is the one she tells me I need to use. I tried it and actually loved it. Okay, we gotta stand back up. I can't do this sitting. And now I'm going to line my eyes. And I try to keep it thin, but it doesn't always happen that way. I feel like stressed out doing it on camera. <laughs> it's like I can barely do my liner when nobody's watching. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I had to go thicker. I hit it. Okay. My eye's done. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm going to do the other one off camera. Okay, eyes are done. It's not the best. I'm not calling this video a tutorial. I've already decided because it's not it's just to tell you guys what I do and what I wear <laughs> next um, is going to be my gel eyeliner and I just put on eyeliner but I also use a pencil because I like to do my bottom lid and my top lid I'll show you guys what I mean this is the Ulta Beauty gel eyeliner in black brown looks like that and it's just a basic pencil and what I do with this as I do the bottom. Like that. See the difference? I know a lot of people don't like using this on the bottom. That's probably old school. I always put liner on the bottom, so when I don't, I feel like I don't look right. You know, when you're just used to doing something all the time. Then I take and I lift my eyelid like something crazy. And I paint the inside of my eyelid. That way it just kind of has a nice flow from your top liner. It looks really scary, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to edit this video back. I'm probably gonna laugh at myself. That's pretty much all besides mascara. And for mascara, I, you can't even read it. I've had this so long. It's time to buy new. It's Voluminous Superstar Red Carpet Black. Oh my gosh. Like the writing's almost gone. You'll see what I mean. There it is right there. You can barely read it. 
but it has a primer on one side and the mascara on it on the other and I absolutely love primer. I tried primer with my mascara a long time ago, fell in love with it, and I always try to find one that comes with it. It's supposed to be white, but because my mascara is really hard to get off and sometimes I'm lazy and it doesn't come off completely, that it turns this a little tint of black from the mascara that's left on my eyelashes, but it's okay. I just take and put that. Like I can feel old mascara still on my eyelashes and like I use cleaner to take it off. I actually use, this is totally off subject, but not really. I use coconut oil to remove my eye makeup and it just doesn't do the best job on mascara or at least this, ma oh my gosh. Ah, I just got a glob of primer on my eye. Is this gonna turn into a fail? Let me get that off real quick. Yes, Briley, you can come in. You wanna tell everybody hello? Hello. Yeah, she just got out of the shower too. Are you needing the blow dryer? I need the blow dryer and the brush. Okay. Someone commented on a video. I think her name was Jessica. Shout out Jessica. I don't even know what your username is. Kind of on the phone with me. But she was like, do another clean with me declutter. Girl, I'm going to do one. I need to be motivated to do my closet. Our closet's ridiculous right now. I mean, it's so bad. It's embarrassing. I'm scared to show you. But I need to do our bedroom closet. So bad. And what else? Oh, under the bathroom cabinets. They are horrible. You see the primer on there? It's like white. And then you cover it up with your black mascara. Um, but I want to do the kitchen cabinets before Thanksgiving. So you do like that. Get your mascara on. I feel silly sitting right here because I'm like having to lean in so hard to the counter. But you know, I can't see, so. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, right? I cannot see. I really get really close to the mirror when I put my mascara on. If not, I'll probably poke my eye out. Okay, and then I just kind of go back and double check and I just kind of hold it there. I don't use a lash curler. I'm just gonna do like that. Oh my gosh, that's a scary angle, y'all. I'm so sorry. All right, when you feel like you have it about right, put it down for a minute. Take your fingers put underneath and just close your eyes and push up on your eyelashes. I about said your mascara, same thing. And you just kind of push like this and you shape them to stand up. So as they dry, it looks like you curl them with an eyelash curler. I don't do this every day, because most days I'm always in a hurry. We gotta start school. I like to start school at a certain time every day. So I'm lucky to even get makeup on, but I just can't do that to y'all. I can't come on camera with no makeup. I see moms do it all the time on their vlogs. I'm like, I want to have that confidence to come on the vlog with no makeup, which I did. Technically I did today. You saw me without makeup. So kudos to me. Okay, see how your lashes actually show. Then you have cute little mascara fingers. Then you wanna do the bottom lashes. And I have to get in the mirror for this, hold on. And make your pretty face like this. Why do I do that when I do mascara? I'm like, I do that on my mouth. Does anybody else? I don't even know if that do anything really. Or is it just habit? of what you think you should be doing. I don't know. Anyway, when I'm done with my mascara, bring out that beauty blender, and let me get up so I can see. And you take your beauty blender and go right back underneath your eyes and just kind of clean up anything you see. Now it's time for my palette again. I told you guys I don't use a lot of makeup. It's all the same makeup. I go back in with my bronzer and I have this broken brush why don't I just buy a new one? They're like a dollar, two dollars maybe, elf ones. I don't know why I hadn't bought a brush, but anyway, it's what you get used to, I guess. Um, I go back in with my bronzer, and then I just go right here at the bottom, and do the same on both sides. Then I tap the blush. Now you can see, I haven't used a lot of that blush.
Jigsaw Rosie. Now I put that one down, and the one I used to clean up around my eyes earlier, I touch the highlighter. I do a little right here, and a little right here, and then I boop, 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 boop on my nose and down the bridge. That's it. And I put that back, and then I come back in with my big um, all over brush. And I just kind of smooth it out and kind of hit my face again. And that is it. I look like myself again. So, I'm going to do my hair and then I'll come back on and show you guys the finished product once I'm completely ready. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I did kind of run the curl iron through my hair very messily because we're needing to leave the house, so I wanted to kind of hurry up and get it curled, but I do want to curl it today. And this is what the makeup looks like. I did put on some lipstick, and I didn't do that on camera, so I'm gonna share with you guys what I used. It's Ulta Beauty, it's their brand, and it's Barely There is the color, and we need to go buy some more. There's the color right there. I love it because it's like a really pretty neutral color, so definitely one of my favorites. Um, I need to go get some more, like I said, and I'd love to go venture out into some more with more color to them because the holidays are here. I have the red lipstick I always wear. I wouldn't say always wear, but when I want to look a little more fancy, and that's just um, something I wear every day, so I'd love to find one maybe with a little bit more color than this one, but this one's really pretty. I like it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick everyday makeup look. If you did, leave a thumbs up on the video, leave a comment down below, ask some questions, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog.